What is up my buttery biscuits? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Paris Hilton and Britney Spears. I know this is kind of like random on my channel. I have said so many times before that I'm gonna talk about more celebrity related stuff and then I just don't. But this one, I specifically wanted to talk about because I'm kind of tripped out and I want people to explain it to me because I'm not really understanding how people are coming up with conspiracy theories over this like i'm trying to understand what would be the motive what would be the reason what would be the gain from this and i'm just really not getting it i read like a page six article a tmz article like fox news article i've read so many different types of articles about this and i'm like i'm just really not understanding why is this making headlines so therefore i wanted to talk about it so that way i can have a little bit more of an understanding and hopefully one of you guys out there can explain this to me because I'm just not getting it. We're also going to be talking about Bad Bunny and Lisa Renna within this video, not together, separately. I know that sounds like, oh, Bad Bunny and Lisa Renna as if they're like together, but no, 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 separately. Y'all, I'm sure you guys have already heard about the Bad Bunny stuff. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, but I tried to like get a better understanding of this because y'all know how much I love him. Like, y'all know I've said it time and time again, like I really just don't have too many like, well, actually I don't have like any celebrity crushes. Like he's my only one. And on top of that too, I just love him. But recently he's been like, Ugh, like real cringe, like real cringe. And I'm like, what's what's going on with him? And y'all, you know what really sucks too? As a like diehard fan of his, like y'all, you guys know, okay? I literally bought some of his merch. I went to his concert. Like I love him, but I'm not gonna defend his moves. And I feel like a lot of people are defending him and what he's doing right now. And I'm like, I'm not understanding this, but we're gonna be talking about that before the whole Paris Hilton and Britney stuff. Also, another thing that I wanna talk about before getting into this, and please, please, please don't answer down below. Oh, talk about whatever you wanna talk about. I know so many people always do that. But I really want to know what you guys would think. I have, I've said this probably for like two years now, maybe even three. It's been such a long time. I've always said that I want to talk about RuPaul stuff here on my channel. Whether it be just kind of like going over like the weekly looks, even though I'm no fashion person at all. And even though I'm not a drag queen, I just obviously have thoughts and opinions. I don't know if like maybe I would do like a um, hot or not type of thing. I don't know if I would just do kind of like a recap of the episode. I really don't know, but I just love RuPaul's Drag Race so much. And I've told you guys several times here on my channel that I really do want to talk about it. But then I... <laughs> If I'm being real, I just get scared because I'm like, these RuPaul stands be going hard, y'all. And if you, like, have anything negative to say about one of the queens, it's just like, oh, they are down your throat, y'all. Like, they go in. And I'm like, oh, so I'm a little bit scared about that. But then also at the same time, too, I want to kind of, like, you know, just talk about whatever I want to talk about. Are you guys interested in that? That's what I was uh, saying to you guys earlier about don't say, oh, talk about whatever you want to talk about. I really want to know if you guys would be interested in that. If you guys would not be interested in that, please let me know down below. Um, it's not going to hurt my feelings in any type of way. And obviously, yes, I know it's my channel and I can talk about whatever I want to talk about, but I obviously want you guys to be included in that and would want to see the content as well too. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I would do. I just love RuPaul's Drag Race so much. It's literally my number one favorite show. And now that it just started season 15, I'm like, oh, it'll be fun to talk about. But then also I'm a little bit scared. And then also I'm wondering if you guys would even enjoy that content so please make me uh please make me please let me know down below also make sure you guys check out my second channel it'll be linked down below in the description box um head over there and please subscribe i am just so excited for that channel sorry that i keep on bringing it up in every single video but obviously i need to like get the word out about it because a lot of you guys still don't know about it it's my travel channel and even if you guys are not into travel type of stuff i do all different types of stuff with my brother on there from like food reviews hotel stuff um cruise stuff like just so much different stuff on there so i would appreciate the love and support over there we do upload new videos there every single Sunday. So make sure you guys head over there and check it out. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, before getting into Bad Bunny, I wanna talk about Lisa Rinna only because this is another thing that I wanted to talk about before on my channel is like Real Housewives. I really do enjoy watching the Real Housewives. Well, pretty much if I'm being honest, I used to watch them all. But now I pretty much only watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills only because I was just so captivated by the Erica Jane drama. I was like, hmm, like what's going on in this? And on top of that too, if I'm being real with you guys, I used to be such a huge Erica Jane fan, but then seeing her over the past couple seasons, I'm just like, ooh, like I, I don't think I like her anymore, honestly. I used to be such a fan of hers and I used to be so like, oh my gosh, like just captivated by her. I used to think she's so gorgeous and like she's so entertaining. And then now I'm just like, oh my gosh, the way she's acted over the past couple seasons, I don't know if I'm a fan and I don't know if she could redeem herself, but I did want to talk about this because People.com uh, actually released that Lisa Renna is going to be exiting the housewife after, uh, oh my gosh, exiting the housewives after eight seasons. Um, and I guess apparently they exclusively, or Lisa Renna exclusively told People that. So I want to just go ahead and read just a little bit of this, y'all. She um, had said to People, this is the longest job I've held in my 35-year career, and I am grateful to everyone at Bravo and all those involved in the series. Renna59 says in a statement, it has been a fun eight-year run, and I am excited for what is to come. 
Now, a lot of people wanted her to leave this season because they were like, y'all, she is just too much. She stirs too much drama. But this is where I say, don't you guys feel like it's a catch-22 for Bravo? Like, they're damned if they do, damned if they don't. A lot of people want her off the season. A lot of other celebrities who would be on the um, episode or on the uh, Real Housewives franchise had said, I will only be on the show if Rena is gone. But don't you guys feel like she's kind of the one that creates the show? Like, I feel like she really is the person... To, like, kind of stir up the drama. Within this past season, if you guys have not checked it out, I feel like Kyle Richards is the one who, like, really stirred up all the drama. Like, y'all, she literally hopped back and forth from every other person stirring this and stirring that. A lot of people were trash talking her, but then I'm like, y'all, I thought about it in th this way. If I was on the show and I wanted to stay on the show, I'm going to secure my spot. And how do you do that? Create drama. Like, that's just, it is what it is. Obviously, you have to be entertaining. If you're all, like, loving to everybody and peaceful with everybody, then you're going to be booted off the show. You need to have some type of a storyline and you need to have some type of drama because obviously that's what keep, uh, keeps people watching. So I really do want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that. If you guys do watch The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, that's the reason why I'm bringing this up because y'all know I love Real Housewives. But... I don't know how I feel about Rena. Honestly, I'm just kind of like in the middle. I'm like mutual with her. Sometimes I like her, sometimes I don't. But I really do feel like she does make the show super entertaining. And I feel like within the past season, her and Kyle are the ones who kind of really brought up the most drama, which is the most entertaining, which is kind of crazy that so many people hate. And they like leave so many hate comments online. I guess Rena actually went to like BravoCon and like so many people there. I, I don't know if it was like thousands of people literally booed her. And I'm like, Okay, y'all, like, don't we get that, like, there needs to be some type of, like, villain within the show to keep it going? If everyone was all loving and peaceful, then it's not going to be entertaining, you know? So I didn't quite understand that. But moving on to the Bad Bunny stuff right here, y'all. Ugh, this is quick. I'm sure you guys already have seen this video before. Now, I wanted to talk about this specifically because so many people are still defending Bad Bunny. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, talking to my friends about this when I had first heard about this situation to where he's walking with this girl right here and he like snatches her phone and then throws it. I was like, oh, like that is so wrong of him to do. But then also I did sit back and I say, you know what? She was just all up in his space. She was all up on him with her phone, like literally right there. So I'm not condoning what he did and I'm not justifying it and saying that it is okay because I feel like that's so inappropriate. But I'm just kind of like, first of all, I do want to say this. Bad Bunny is so rich. I've heard before that he makes like over $2 million a month just from Spotify, just from Spotify. So imagine from YouTube and Apple Music, like he's racking in the dough on top of like concert sales and stuff like that. So he has money to pay for security. But then I saw these other videos, right? Because that one I was a little bit understanding of. I was like, okay, I could get it. Like maybe he's irritated because she is all up in his space. But then I saw him at the club and he was just snatching phones and snatching phones. I'm like, you are at a public club. You are literally probably one of the most famous people in the world right now. The like highest selling artist right now. And you are getting mad that people are taking videos of you. It's like, okay, you have the money to buy out the whole entire club. Just buy out the club and invite your friends. You know what I'm saying? The reason like uh, his reasoning for like taking the phones, I don't get because I feel like you are just a massive celebrity. People are obviously going to be like wanting to take a video. Do you know what I mean? And that makes me a little bit sad because I love him so much, but I'm like, y'all, clearly he needs to hire some security or just like don't go out in public like that. You know what I mean? Yes, 100% people should respect his personal space and not like be all up in his face with their phone. I totally get that. But at the same time too, like in the video, y'all, one that I had saw, a person was from a distance from him and he went over there to grab the phone and he literally put it in his pocket. I'm like, I don't really get it. Like I really don't. Anyways, moving on, um, let's go ahead and get into this um, drama right here with Paris Hilton and Britney Spears. This is the main thing that I really wanted your guys' opinion about because I'm just not getting it. Like, I'm just not understanding. A lot of people are coming out with these, like, conspiracy theories about, like, oh my gosh, like, uh, Paris Hilton, like, photoshopped Britney Spears in here, but I'm not getting it. I think, I think I could totally be wrong here. I'm, like, obviously speculating. I think a lot of people are thinking that Britney Spears never really leaves the house. So maybe like Paris Hilton was like paid to like Photoshop a picture of Britney in this picture. I I, I just don't get it. Like I'm, I don't understand it. And I don't really feel like Paris needs to do that. I don't know. I want to know what the conspiracies are about this, y'all. But anyways, this is what it says right here on Billboard.com. It says, Paris Hilton calls out absolutely ridiculous conspiracy theories about photo with Britney Spears. So it says, some Britney Spears fans seem convinced that something is not quite right in a new picture featuring the singer on Paris Hilton's Instagram feed. Hilton shut down the ridiculous rumors herself in a comment on January 7th. In a post on Friday, Hilton shared several photos from friend uh, Cade Hudson's birthday party, most of which she says were taken on an iPhone one picture had longtime friends Spears and Hilton posing with the guest of honor. Comments included followers saying that is not Britney and leaving theories like it's really strange how half the necklace chains are missing in the photo with Britney and what's wrong with her fingers. 
I will say this, like looking at the chain, the chain was gone and her fingers did look a little bit weird. Like it did look a little, a little sus, you know, but I just don't understand what the motive is. I don't understand like why she would do that. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then somebody said, uh, is that an AI, Brittany? Look at her fingers. WTF Paris. You're becoming more and more shady to me. I used to love you, dude. How dare you participate in whatever is going on with Brit? So that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking like a lot of people are like, thinking that maybe she's helping covering something up and that she's like photoshopping Britney there when maybe Britney's at home. I don't really know. But y'all, people were going in so much that I actually wanted to go to her comment section and actually take some comments from there, but they're all gone. Like she completely turned off the comments, which is weird. I've never even seen on Instagram before that like you could just completely turn them off. Cause I thought if they were already there, then they're just like made public and then you could stop people from commenting more, but no, it's gone. Anyway, so this is what she responded to it. So all of those asking, some of these photos were taken on an iPhone, so they ended up being blurry. So they use this app called Remini to make it look unblurry, and sometimes the AI distorts images. I just want to say, I think this is so funny. What if this was all one big gimmick to, like, get people to download this uh, Remini app? Because now I'm kind of like, wh what's this Remini app? Where does it come from? I've never heard of it before. And like, is she like getting paid to promote Remini? Do you know what I mean? That's the biggest thing to me that I'm like, what? And then she also continued on to say, I didn't want to even dignify this with a response, she added, but some of these conspiracy theories are absolutely ridiculous. So that it is that is it right there for the Britney Spears and Paris Hilton drama, which I have to say... I don't know. Do you guys believe it? Do you guys feel like it's photoshopped? Honestly, I feel like we'll never really know. A lot of people are saying that Paris Hilton should actually post the original photo so that way people can be like, okay, this is this is actually a photo. So I kind of feel like if I'm being honest, if I was Paris, I would at least on my stories post the real photo, the unedited version of it. Do you know what I mean? But it just has me thinking the only thing is that like, People are thinking Paris Hilton is, is in on some type of whatever's going on with Britney, y'all. We obviously don't know, but I'm just like, would Paris Hilton get involved with that? I don't know. This one to me is just really, really interesting, and I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions, so make sure you guys let me know down below. Make sure you guys let me know, like, what would be Paris Hilton's motive behind this? What would be her gain behind this? I could understand the conspiracy theories as far as, like, oh, maybe she's in on it. Maybe she's working with Britney's management to make it seem like she's getting out of the house, but she's not really getting out of the house. But then, like, would Paris really do that? Like, she's a multi-millionaire, like... It just doesn't make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? So make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.